hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today i'll show you this type of creative logo and i got this idea from the internet and uh, some combinations i made it out so i'll show you the process here is my color palette and i'll share this color palette with you and i'll give you that download link in my video description so here i use a creative type logo and i just grouped it out and you can export it in any kind of formats and other stuffs so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications let's see what i have done here uh, here is my like a mapping so press ctrl y for the outlining so let's see the outline so here was a letter which was a p and the circle that is three types of circles so i made and i just uh, place it out and i cut it out and here is a tool this one is the uh, most important tool for this tutorial that is the shape builder tool and uh, this one is uh, amazing for any kind of uh, shape making so what i have done here here was this one this one and this one so and this one as well so this one is p letter letter p and i took uh, grid or like a, a guideline and then I took a circle which is like that and like that and I took another circle like that so how could I take this type of circle and uh, what will be the according position so I just imagine here here is a shape which is like a, a round or slash type like um, here is round and here is round like uh, that and if i just uh, select all the things if i uh, like uh, merge it all out and it will be a shape and finally i just uh, arrange all the things and just uh, give some colors and shadows over there and i got this type of uh, logo go to the file and new and I'll take a new artboard which is a custom artboard which is thousand by thousand pixels and the color mode CMYK you can make it RGB as well so CMYK but I would suggest you to do make it CMYK for the printing purpose just because of uh, if you want to go to the printing press CMYK will help you out to make the proper color in your printing or printing output so after that here is uh, settings the pixels just check it out and hit the create button you'll get a square shape artboard in a new window so from this window i'll take this color palette and just uh, place over here and here okay that's fine and now i'll open up or i'll turn on the grid line control and inverted comma the grid line will appear or uh, you can can't use it uh, as your wish so go to the text tool and select once and write down p letter and i'll make this one bigger like uh, 350 that's fine and now i'll change up the font i'll use here a futura font so don't worry about that i'll give you that download link that means the font download link in my video description so after that right press and create outline so place it out in uh, proper position and now which will make you out here is artboard lines and as well here as well so it is now properly done okay after that i'll take circles how to do that before that and i'll take a guideline that is ctrl r and take a ruler or guideline like that and just place over here press ctrl y it will help you out to get the proper line here okay that's fine and now go to the shape tool and take ellipse tool. here is ellipse i'll take this type of ellipse or circle like that so that's fine and take this circle here and it will be like that so make the position of the circle will be middle so that means you should have to select these two things that means guideline and the circle and go to the alignment if you want to get the alignment tool over here go to the window and align over here just tick this one or shift f7 okay and i'll make the alignment like that yeah that's fine but you have to maintain that uh, this one is properly selected or properly just 
attach with that so in this one this circle that's fine and now I'll just copy that circle and place it here so if you just match it out with this one it will be more amazing and more precisely yeah that's fine so select this guideline and select here and just make it out yeah that's fine and select this P and like that and just here and make the guideline like here not like that yeah that's fine and select this circle and make it smaller yeah actually you should select this one yeah that's good and now I'll take another one which is like that so like this so you have to maintain this one like this yeah here is a loop that means you are getting like that shape after selecting all the things go to the shape builders tool and select here here and here now you are getting properly nice so press ctrl y again and delete this portion and this portion so press y again you are getting like that yeah that's fine so you can just delete this out or i'll merge it out so select this thing and these things so small things two small things and go to the pathfinder if you want to get the pathfinder over here window and pathfinder here so here is merge option just merge it out so don't select all the things just ungroup this one and select this one and here this one and merge it out now i'll just cut it out like that that means here is some lines or like that so how to do that i'll just take this one turning off the grid line by pressing ctrl and inverted comma so that's fine and now i'll just make copy yeah select these two things press y actually you have to make the gap over here so select here a little bit bigger and here this one a little bit bigger yeah that's good okay select these two things and here is a divide option divide that ungroup that press ctrl y and select select uh, like here just delete this and delete this you are getting this one so you can place it out here in this position so you can make this one this position and this position as well so after that i'm giving the white color this one or yellow color yeah that's fine and now i'll select this one and this one and again divide that ungroup that and just i'll delete this portion and this portion so almost it's completed now i'll give something so here is gradient and select this one this one is separated press only i from the keyboard select here and here is gradient options and if you want to get the gradient over here you have to go to window and gradient so make it reverse yeah that's fine and this one select this one and make it again so you're getting like that and give the gradient here this gradient press i from the keyboard and select this one and select this one and give the color like that yeah now i'll take a background or bg and uh, go to the rectangle tool and give the rectangle size which is thousand and thousand and hit okay so i have to take this one in a proper artboard alignment so select uh, here and align to artboard and go to the alignment and like that so i have to make this one in a, a backside layer so press ctrl and third bracket select all the things press the shift button and uh, like uh, release this one and press ctrl g it will be group and now align this p logo in a like a keyframe like that yeah that's fine and you can make it bigger like that yeah that's good and if you need you can change the shapes and other stuff so then make it like that so how to adjust the gradient so select this one and double click over here so G from the keyboard and make it like that suppose 
like this or this yeah that's fine and select this one that means this one g and just make it like that uh, make it like that so that's good so you are getting polished version and this one as well so this one is our gradient so g and yeah it will be like that that's fine so it will be more amazing or precisely like that so you can write down something like that poemo poemi and that means uh, go to the text tool and select once and just make the font size 12 or like that uh, i'll make it uh, 30 that's good and i'll take another uh, text uh, and the font that is the roboto and roboto regular and like that and i'll select the color press i from the keyboard and select this color and just place it over here and make the size like that press the shift button and hold it and i'll make this one thinner so go to the options of the uh, like font and make it thin yeah that's fine and you are getting this type of things so here and you can write down uh, something like that so how to do that here suppose here is a text tool and here is the vertical type tool and select once over here and a some arif and i'll change the font type that is the type typewriter font and give the color which is white yeah and you can make it all caps like that and that's good and you can copy that and you can write down here like uh, today's date like uh, 27 06 19 so that's good so you are getting ready your logo so here is the color swatch and i'll share this color swatch with you please check out my video description but uh, one thing is left uh, here here is some shadow so shadow how to do or how to give the shadow portion so go to the paint tool and uh, at first you have to right press and ungroup this one and go to the paint tool and take a shadow like that so from here like that little bit up and here actually in the anchor point and make it like that and like this so that's fine and press ctrl t uh, like that add just like that so that's fine so send this one in a back side of the layer so press ctrl third bracket opening like that yeah that's fine so you have to ungroup this one as well so full this one yeah that's fine and send back to the yeah that's fine and here is a uh, transparency and make it multiply yeah that's fine and you can down the opacity so here is the opacity portion yeah that's fine and you can draw here another shadow and you can down the opacity more like 35 percent or less yeah that's fine and now you can give some so you can adjust all the things so if you need you can make it out so here go to the direct selection tool and you can make it like that so select this anchor point and you can make it like that yeah and this anchor point and make it yeah more precisely yeah that's fine and here as well so not like that yeah that's fine and you can make it more curved like that yeah it will be more realistic you can just adjust this one that is the shadow yeah realistic shadow and you can draw here same things so take this one yeah that's fine and here as well and here as well so that's good and send this one in the back side of the layer yeah the same process or same thing press the i from the keyboard and take this color yeah you are getting realistic color from here so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may say signing out today if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and bye bye